the Bronx. Y'all got y'all got um, you know y'all kind of there with 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 the talent historically with Brooklyn. Um, is the Bronx unified? I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I ain't from the X. I gotta ask you. Yo, oh, bro. That's probably the funniest shit I've heard in a long time. You heard? I don't even know how to answer that. Unified in terms of what? Y'all got a lot of artists from the Bronx. Oh, yeah. None of yeah. them alone. You got to contact their manager. Who got a manager? <laughs> Feel me? Like, you contact my manager. Then you hit the manager, and the manager got a manager. And you got to hit his manager just to ask the nigga a question. Right, Getting right. Them yeah, to yeah. The, studio, the business, right? Yeah, the yeah. business. Just to ask him a question, you got to speak to his manager and his manager's manager. Like, niggas ain't got time for that. So, so to the to the public, when people be like, "Yo, the Bronx United," you got, you know, y'all got the biggest DJ, y'all got some of the biggest artists in the world. Let me ask you a question, bro. Ask I'm me. Be hundred percent honest with you. Bro. Let me thousand. Flip, we keep it one thousand. Let me flip the script on you real quick. Let me ask you a question one time mm-hmm. on your show. What do ninety five percent of these niggas that come from my borough do for my borough? I, you know, I honestly don't know because I'm not from Your the man Bronx. is from the Bronx. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He in the yeah, cut yeah. shaking his head. Yeah, yeah. Like I, hell, no, nothing. I don't even know because I'm not from the Bronx. Son, the Bronx made a lot of niggas rich. Facts. Know what I mean? And none of them rich niggas come back and do nothing for the Bronx. That's why the Bronx love me, because I ain't a rich nigga. But I do more for the Bronx than the rich niggas. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, you can't make $10 million off a, off a community of people, and them people put you in the light, and put you in position to make more, and never come back and do nothing. Like, nothing? Nothing, though. Like, just nothing at all. But niggas will go buy a whole block in Atlanta. Go spend one point three million dollars donating to Dade County, but just grew up on Trinity Ave. These niggas is different, bro. Like what? I can't jack these, niggas, and because I'm not scared to say that, these niggas are never fuck with me. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Well, you on the right show, no filter. Like they keep no me as far away from the light as <laughs> I can, as they can because I don't stand for what they stand for. I can't make ten million dollars in the Bronx and go to California and donate a one point five million dollars to Beverly Hills. They need money over there for. What they need money in Beverly Hills for, bro? You live in the richest part of Florida. What they need money over there for? Fat Joe and them be wilding, bro. You Cardi B just bought a whole block in Atlanta, bro. What the fuck you did for the Bronx? A whole block in Atlanta? Yeah, her, her man just bought a whole block in Atlanta. What the fuck did they do for the Bronx? Just popped up when Junior died, took some pictures, gave their family a little tax write-off check, and spun off. That's what all them niggas do, man. They wait till somebody die. And they go viral. Then they act like they give a fuck about where they come from. Or if it's enough cameras, they'll pop out. Last time Fat Joe was in New York City, that nigga was on Rikers Island with 50 cameras in his face doing a panel like he give a fuck about these little niggas he ain't never going to see again. Wow. Make sure you uh, click subscribe to this on iTunes, go to radio.com, download the app, it's free. You can hit a podcast on there. You can see the video on YouTube, youtube.com slash doggy diamonds TV. Until next time, peace.